Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Sim Blackblade and welcome back to vlog number, I don't know what number it is, uh, of our channel Dual Claw Build. And yes, I am back. So from here on out, you know, I'll be able to uh, make some uh, videos, uh, some builds in Path of Exile. And uh, yeah, I've, I've, I've gotten, you know, a lot of time and uh, time in my hand right now since it's the holidays. Um, yeah. So let's get into the build. Apparently, there's a lot of changes in Path of Exile and I've missed so much, uh, you know, throughout the last time that I really played the game and really thought about it. And uh, yeah, so uh, much has changed and I'm still into uh, getting to know what has a particular, uh, what particularly works and what, uh, and what doesn't. So please forgive me if there are some parts of the build which may be off. If there is, I want you guys to let me know in the comment section down below. All right, so let's get into the build. So obviously, this is going to be a assassin in uh, or a crit based build uh, getting the unstable infusion deadly infusion and the ambush now I haven't really gotten uh past the uh, uber labyrinth so uh, when you when you uh, when you finish the uber labyrinth you know go ahead and take the assassinate all right so we started off with getting uh, physical and chaos damage nodes over here uh, ending with coordination we've taken uh, blood siphon trickery and then the assassination over here uh, we went up towards the will of the blades uh, fangs of the viper and then we've gotten the uh, nullification over here uh, we've gotten a jeweled socket over here uh, what you're looking for is increase in life uh, that could be expensive um, uh, critical hit chances critical hit multipliers uh, one-handed damage nodes dam uh, one-handed damage um, uh, one hundred damage stats. Uh, what else? Uh, claw stats, attack speeds, any of those variants. But it would be better if there is some life in there. But then prepare to uh, spend because it's going to be a little bit expensive. Uh, we've gotten the uh, blood drinker over here. Uh, we've got uh, almost all of the uh, claw node uh, claw nodes over here. Uh, claws of magpie and soul raker. Uh, in the future, I will get these uh, two remaining claw damage and attack speed nodes. Uh, we went down over here to take the survivalist for the uh, plus one maximum cold resistance. Uh, we went over here to take the heart seeker. Another jeweled socket over here. Again, uh, look for damage, um, uh, crit chance, multipliers, life. You know any of those uh, attributes will be great. Uh, but prioritize life. We've gotten the favor over here for additional frenzy charge, uh, the herbalism. Uh, we've gotten the we weapon artistry, the aspect of the lynx, uh, aspect of the panther, finesse, heart of the oak, and then the only reason why I got the primal spirit is because I'm lacking a little bit of intelligence. So yeah, uh, if you have a com a, a, a good uh, pair of rings or amulet that you know uh, has an additional intelligence, uh, this may be a skill note that you you know likely pass on to or pass off or not take. Uh, twin terrors, thick skin, all of the life notes over here. We went down over here to take some evasion. Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, we took the acrobatics over here because this is going to be an evasion based build. Uh, we did... No, why do I have a point blank here? That shouldn't be there. Alright, so apparently uh, that that's a mistake on my part. That shouldn't be there. Oh, hey, I have, a, I have one new point. So I'm going to get the claw damage and, and uh, attack speed over there. Yeah, I because I did play around with Molten Strike and it didn't work. So I forgot to uh, remove the point blank. Alright, so uh, Evasion Notes over here. Again, another uh, jeweled socket over there uh, with physical damage, life, and then some resistances. Uh, we went over to the left side over here. We are now under the uh, the dualist skill tree. Uh, we took the cloth and chain again, again, you know, just to increase uh, further bump, uh, uh, just to further increase our uh, evasion rating and armor, and of course uh, our elemental resistances. Uh, golem's blood, another uh, jewel socket over here. Uh, we went up to, to uh, going through the dervish because this is going to be a dual wield build. Uh, Art of Gladiator, Bravery, uh, Master Farina, and then all of the armor innovation life nodes over there. Now the build is at uh, level 89, so probably you guys could push this to level uh, 90 if you want to, 91 if you're you know really hardcore, or if you're even hardcore you want to go to 95, you know go ahead and do so. Uh, again, uh, finishing up the claw and um, uh, damage attack speed nodes is going to be uh, all right over there if you guys can finish it. Uh, else, maybe I, I did try to uh, play around with Valpak, but then uh, the life uh, regeneration uh, kind of takes a toll when you get into maps which has uh, an environmental effect like uh, uh, burning uh, burning grounds and all of that. So yeah, you may want to play around if you want to take the the Valpak. That's going to be uh, entirely up to you. And then of course you can always go back, uh, go up over here to take the deadly daily tante, which you know adds a huge uh, physical damage to our claws. Of course, passing through uh, uh, again uh, more physical damage with claws, and then some uh, critical strike chance with claws. 
all right then so uh, let's go to the uh, gear we are going to be using uh, we are going to be dual wielding the scourge uh, but then this is not really necessary you know if you want to dual wield the rive you know go ahead and do so I, initially i wanted to go with a poison build uh, with the uh, poison claw which i'm going to uh, post somewhere here i forgot the name uh, i was supposed to dual wield that but i only got one and i wasn't able to uh, purchase you know another one and uh you know i really wanted to of course uh, with that you need to combo it with this armor over here which i'm going to post it above and yeah i wasn't able to get that because it's uh, it's a bit expensive especially if it's six link i really want my gear to be six link so yeah uh, maybe in the future i'm gonna uh, make a similar version uh, which is going to be initially poison based but then again, yeah, uh, the, uh, we are going to be dual wielding this, uh, the Scourge. Uh, for armor, we are going to be using the Kitsugi over here because this is going to be an evasion type build. And uh, this provides a huge amount of evasion and a huge amount of survivability for our character. Uh, it is going to be sad because sometimes we get one hit. So it's... Uh basically a glass cannon but then our, our life is all is uh, already good at 4.9 so uh, we will not get one shot uh, i guess uh, i haven't been one shot before you know you just have to be fast and you know get away from whatever situation you're you're uh, you're in uh, finally for uh, our final unique we are going to be using the star conjus head uh dexterity increased attack speed global critical strike chance plus a huge additional uh, 96 to our life and then we get that sweet uh 50 increased global evasion rating when we reach that low life so that's going to be enough for us to you know get uh, out of a very uh, sticky situation now for our rings uh you know nothing really special uh, just try to max out your resistances add some life physical damage uh for our ring we are going to be using a steel ring over here um, I added a 42 uh, mod over there uh, life resist you know huge additional physical damage uh, that's going to be awesome uh, when it comes to uh, our amulet we are going to be using an onyx amulet I particularly use this a lot uh, in all of my builds because this actually completes or negates the need for me to take additional intelligence or strength nodes because it, it, it just gives uh, so much at attributes you know 50 uh, we have 15 we have 27 we have 41 to our strength and uh, you know it has armor and I decided to roll a uh, global critical strike chance uh, over there but then again all of this you know rings and then amulet you know all of these are really optional if you guys have a really awesome or sweet amulet or ring that I don't know of probably that could really benefit uh, the build you know go ahead and do so uh, for our uh, gloves still I'm going to be using the Maligar uh, the Maligar's Virtuosity you know it has a huge additional uh, global critical strike chance and multiplier plus dexterity and, and attack speed uh, not really uh, not really necessary if you know you have a, a super good rare that has a huge physical damage I'm not sure what sort of uh, gloves those are but I've, I've I've seen physical damage and attack speed which uh, gloves which are really really sweet that can overthrow this one if you guys have that you know go ahead and use it you're not really restricted to anything uh, belt a rustic sash you know life resist and uh, finally for our uh, boots again just some life and resist if you can get some uh, uh, movement speed there you know go ahead and do so although it's going to be a little bit expensive now for what's connected to our dual strike yeah that's going to be our uh, our our uh, main skill uh, i've tried molten strike i've tried several uh, other skills uh, but then i still go back to dual strike because it just does does so much damage per blow because uh yeah, because in this skill you uh, you attack with both uh with both claws so yeah that's two damages at the same time so it's not you know alternating left and right but then you know it, it's really entirely up to you uh dual strike uh, attached to faster attacks multi strike uh, melee physical damage ruthless and then uh, melee splash initially i wanted some critical damage here but then uh with the kitsugi being an evasion based uh, armor it's hard to roll reds and blues in this uh in this you know uh, in this um in this armor so yeah if you can you know uh ruthless or either uh, critical hit damage will work else we have immortal call attached to increased duration uh, cwdt and then we have vol haste over there uh, and then we have summon ice golem for our uh, golem uh, you can choose whatever you want if you want uh, more attack speed for lightning you know go ahead and do so if you want uh, more defense earth i think and uh, you know it really depends up to you uh, of course i've attached that to minion life support so that he doesn't really die that often uh, enduring cry and then we have whirling blades and then uh, we have a hair of the fash and grace for our auras and then we have CWDT Assassin's Mark for our curse and Blood Rage in there just to uh, just for our uh, frenzy gaining charge. 
Uh, finally, we have CWDT with face run, uh, enhanced support, and then enlightened support. The enlightened support is just there for leveling uh, purposes. So basically, this is going to be your utility. Uh, in my opinion, you know, you could uh, uh, switch any skill gems that you think uh, would be much more helpful for the build. Again, if you have a smart idea, let me know in the comment section down below so that I could, you know, basically change the whole build. Uh, when it comes to flask, uh, we, these, these are my flasks. Uh, I haven't really gone through the newer flasks, so yeah, uh, Lion's Roar uh, is the only unique that I'm using. But then again, if there is something or there is a unique flask that you think that would be very beneficial for the build, again, let me know in the comment section down below. Alright then, so the damage of our dual strike is at uh, 55k, that is without charges, without the power charges, and then without the uh, uh, without the uh, frenzy charges, but that goes up to about uh, around 90k, I believe, and uh, defensively our uh, evasion rating is at 20k with an estimated chance to evade attacks at 57%, uh, all of our resistances are capped. Uh, we have some stun, ignite, chill, freeze, and shock avoidance over here, which is actually pretty good. Uh, we got that from, uh, where was it? Uh, we got that from uh, Thick Skin, which is always really good to uh, really good to have. Uh, we have a uh, nice uh, life region too at 176.5. Uh, 176.5. Yeah, that's it. Alright, so for the map that we are going to do, we are going to be using a level for, uh, map for tier 14. <coughs> Uh, Springs map with a bunch of uh, you know stats over there and yeah, so let's get into it Whew. In we go All right, then here we go So uh, the highest map that I was able to do is still 14 uh, basically when I returned I was uh, I, When I returned to this game, I was quite uh, Surprised that I didn't have any other maps <laughs> you know, I, I think I finished off all, all, all of my uh, red maps. I don't know why that is. Uh, I was probably uh, playing with, uh, you know, uh, playing, I don't know. The, uh, probably the last time that I uh, played with this game. Oh, we have a plasma map right there. Uh, was I finished all the map. I don't know why I did it. But uh, yeah, so here we go. So as you can see, uh, 94k damage which is already good. You know, it's not something to uh, sneeze at. But yeah, it's pretty okay, I guess. Uh, the clear speed is nice, you know. If uh, if you're not, uh, if you're like me, or, or if you're if you don't like picking up things, it's still uh, entirely pretty fast, in my opinion. All right, then. So uh, I'm not exactly sure what the boss here is. You know, it's been a long time since I played this game. Uh, I did uh, play the uh, what was it? Uh, the previous league. But I wasn't really, you know, I didn't really go too far because, yeah, lack of time. And uh, this is a game that, you know, requires a huge chunk of your time. You can't just, you know, play with this game diddly diddly. You know, you can't just pick up this game and say, hey, I want to make this build. No, you have to look it up. You have to look up if it's uh, viable or if it works with certain things because, oh, Phantasmagoria map. Uh, because yeah, there's uh, apparently there's a lot of changes specifically on the uh, what was it uh, the uh, no more double dipping on the what was it on the damage over time effect something I don't know uh, the ailments are different when it comes to crit something like that I'm, I'm not exactly sure that's why I'm really, really looking for our uh, looking I still looking into it ow so yeah, that's uh, one of those things. Oh, I, I thought I already killed it. Uh, one of those things to look out for. Uh, being one shot, almost got one shot. But as you can see, he didn't one shot me. Not sure if he uh, critted. Oh my god, my latency is too high. It's always like that. Orb. All right, so let's hurry up. Uh, let's see. Ooh, Falco. Yeah, God, I love this game. Jesus, I miss this game so much. Uh, initially, I was actually playing around with Ancestral Call. Uh, was it Ancestral Call? The thing, the, the new red gem. But yeah, it doesn't... Whoa, whoa, whoa! It doesn't really uh, work at... Hey, I really like that effect. Uh, it doesn't really work for this build that much. Probably on the Molten Strike build, yeah, which, I w which I'm excited to or excited to um, make after this. Uh, I'm gonna make a uh, Molten Strike build. Spoiler alert. 
Okay, so ooh, I'm gonna sell that. That's really good. So, all right, so I guess this is the boss now. How much time do we have? We we have 15 minutes into the time. So yeah, uh, so let's get into killing the boss. All right, here we go. He does this immortal call thing, which is actually kind of dangerous. Yeah, that negates any physical damage that we are doing. And we are mostly doing uh, physical damage, so... Alright then, so yeah, uh, we didn't get any uniques. And oh, that's too bad. Yeah, I was expecting that we could get at least one, which would be good for my video! Well, anyway, all right, so that's about it for this episode, guys. Again, let me know what you guys think about the build in the comments section down below. Specifically, if you guys know something that uh, would benefit the build, I would love to know that so that on the next uh, vlog that I make, you know, for uh, the Shadow Duel class, you know, I could uh, probably incorporate your suggestions. All right, so uh, thank you all so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the content, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'm going to see you guys on the next part of my video. Have a good one.